Hey guys, Zips here. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to locate a game on the EA Launcher. So, as you may know, Electronic Arts removed the locate feature that was present on Origin when they started pushing their proprietary launcher. Ever since, people have been trying to find workarounds like redownloading the game to the same directory, but that's not a viable option if you don't have twice the amount of storage needed for each one of your games. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Exit out of the EA Launcher and make sure to close out any EA background services in your Task Manager. We're going to start off by pressing the Windows key in order to plot the run window. You can also search up in your Windows search bar. Next, you're going to want to access your registry by tapping in regedit and pressing enter. Navigate to computer, H local machine, software, and EA games. Then head to this website right here, redfiles.net, it's linked in the description. Search up your game. I'm just going to do Battlefield 2042. Here it is, click on it, and then scroll down to the preview section. Start by copying the name, and then create a new key in your EA Games Registry folder. Paste it in there, copying the display name, and then create a new string value in your Games Registry folder. Call it display name, and paste in the value you just copied. Do note that this is case sensitive. Do the same for the local and product GUID fields. Once you're done, create a new install their string value, and in the value field, you're going to want to paste in your game's install location. So I'm using an external hard drive. I'm going to navigate to my game's install directory and right there, just copy the path, paste it in the value box and press OK. You can exit your registry. So others can find this tutorial, make sure to like and sub. Great, now restart the EA app and there it is. No need to verify your game files, you're ready to go. Some publishers use dedicated registry folders. So in that case, you just have to find it. So for instance, for Titanfall 2, you're going to want to go in the respawn folder and then create a new key called Titanfall 2 and repeat the steps.